So in Microsoft's never-ending quest for world domination, they are currently in the talks of potentially bringing Halo and more games over to other platforms. And one thing in particular for me, being a major Halo fan as you can see, is that they're looking to make a remake of Combat Evolved and have that launch on PlayStation. And hearing this news from Tom Warren on The Verge it gives me two different types of feelings. One, being excitement of new Halo content to play around with, but two, a little bit concerning and maybe just a little lack of enthusiasm for me at least. And I'm sure for many Xbox fans out there, they're probably thinking, will this completely make my console irrelevant when it comes to buying into the Xbox ecosystem? Because this project latitude from Microsoft is looking to completely rework their model when it comes to their content and get it out to the people to enjoy. So we saw this initiative already take place, right? With Sea of Thieves, Grounded, uh, we also have Hi-Fi Rush and Pentiment all going multi-platform now. And the leaks and rumors saying that games like Halo, Forza, and Hellblade could potentially come to other competing platforms. Also, did you know that roughly 62% of people watch the channel are not actually subscribed? We want to keep up to date with everything going on with gaming, Xbox, Halo, and everything between. Well, make sure you tap subscribe and like the video, help out the algorithm. So let's get right back into those details. Now, why would Microsoft want to give away their golden gooses that they have on their platform to other platforms as well? Well, I think ultimately it comes down to money and population, because if you look at Xbox's most played games, right? Fortnite, Call of Duty, Roblox, Rainbow Six Siege, Minecraft, even though it is an Xbox title, it is on multiple platforms, NBA 2K24, Grand Theft Auto, Apex Legends, uh, Destiny, uh, MLB The Show, Madden, X Defiant, Fallout. These are all multi-platform games, which means that you, if you have more people on these games, if it's your potential content, that you could rake in some more money utilizing microtransactions, right? So that's where I'm kind of getting their thought process behind why they go out and do this. And also, let's be honest, console sales for the Xbox have not really been that great. If you look over here on VG Charts, a rather reputable source of kind of don't take these numbers exactly, but basically understand the general idea of what the ratios are effectively, right? PS5, 2.6 million sold in 2024. Xbox Series S and X, 850,000 is so quite a significant lower amount of people playing on Xbox, but Xbox has been playing third fiddle, I guess is the way to put it, for quite some time after the Xbox 360 era because of just the Xbox One really kind of messed up the branding when it comes to the Xbox brand as a whole. And overall, you can see with the Xbox Series consoles, right around 21 million items sold, or PS5 just under 60 million. But then you also have to think about the Switch, which is that 144 million. So there's quite a discrepancy between the, those three different platforms. And Xbox is probably thinking, shoot, man, we, we, if we want to keep making money within games, we got to branch out. We got to do some more. We got to give people a reason why to jump into the Xbox ecosystem. And that's where Project Latitude comes in. And one of those golden gooses coming from Xbox would have to be Halo. That's definitely one of the best shooters on the Xbox platform. It's been exclusive for the longest time. And that's actually one thing the PlayStation has kind of struggled always with with having like an exclusive shooter that is really good where xbox has done previous previously a really great job with that and halo has always played out really well just yeah with halo infinite definitely could have been a better live service so if you're going to release halo on playstation for the first time where do you start well the rumors are that microsoft reportedly working on a halo combat evolve remaster considering playstation 5 release which is going to be very exciting. They actually kind of hinted at this already from 343 vaguely from a previous live stream. Because back in January with the Content 29 update live stream that they did, 343 specifically mentioned that it's going to be an exciting time for Halo moving forward. And they have multiple teams currently working on content that's Halo related while also sustaining Halo Infinite. And we don't really know what kind of projects we've heard about much. So this is the first time we're actually hearing some actual information about the behind the scenes stuff that they're currently working on within 343 and well, external teams as well. And a major speculation with this Combat Evolve remaster or remake is that potentially made within Unreal Engine 5. I'm sure many of you long-term Halo fans will probably remember this tweet right here from Jason Schreier back when the layoffs first happened at 343 back in early 2023, saying that their engine pivot to Unreal, which kind of makes sense as we've seen a lot of development issues when it comes to Halo Infinite, most of the pain points being 
the engine of slip space just very difficult and very slow to work in. What a better way to break into working in Unreal Engine by starting with the original and potentially releasing that over to PlayStation so PlayStation users can start where it all began with that magical game of Combat Evolved. So you can see like what the potential might be for an Unreal Engine Halo game. Let me show you this video that was made by Quixel when they remade Blood Gulch in Unreal Engine 4 because this looks absolutely incredible right here. Like if this is what Halo would look like in Unreal, I mean, sign me up. Obviously this is more of an art piece to give you an example. I can almost guarantee you the game, if you're actually playing it, would not look nearly this good because you have to optimize it for gameplay and higher frame rates. But just like the potential that could be done. This is an Unreal Engine 4, not even Unreal Engine 5. And the former art director over at Bungie during the Halo days, Marcus Leto, went into Unreal 4 a few years ago, back in 2001, to kind of show like what Combat Evolve would look like in Unreal Engine. And I gotta say, like, this would get me so excited to play Halo. Like Master Chief has never looked th quite this good before. Though I do feel like this is a bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to potentially a another remake of Halo Combat Evolved because one thing is like, man, I just want something new to do in Halo. Uh, maybe I'm just over, over fatigued by the franchise at this point, but when I hear another emphasis on some nostalgia bait that comes from the Halo franchise, it makes me just go like, man, can we just like look forward to the future or something that we can create that would be something fun and current that we can do within Halo rather than having to rely so much on the past. Though playing off of nostalgia is an easy W when it comes to Halo, and that's a desperately what this franchise needs is a community-wide W when it comes to just getting people excited to engage with the Halo franchise as a whole, because it's just been rough, man. It's been tough being a Halo fan for like the last decade, really, with radical changes to the gameplay and contents and art style like we have with Halo 4, the botch launch of the Master Chief Collection, the content dribble that we had at Halo 5, and the lack of extensive content for Halo Infinite, it's just been very tough to get like a true Halo experience. And I think it's what people really want. Though I think right now that like recreating Halo in Unreal Engine 5 would be an easy win for the franchise and get people to jump into play, especially for the PlayStation people. You know, where, where do you start? Combat Evolved, obviously. But does Project Latitude cheapen the Xbox brand as a whole, right? Where you have all your amazing exclusive bits of content Going over to other platforms, people would just be thinking like, okay, why would I need to buy an Xbox then? I'll just get a PlayStation for their exclusives. But even PlayStation has been reaching beyond their platform by really pushing a lot more PC content as well. You know, like I play personally, I play Helldivers 2 quite often on PC. We've seen Last of Us 1 and coming over to PC. God of War Ragnarok is coming over and we also had the previous God of War, God of War 4 coming over on top of that. Horizon Zero Dawn and various other games branching out because these companies are starting to realize like, hey, we can make more money by just pushing these games on different platforms rather than keeping them within our ecosystem. Because you might be surprised that these consoles that these publishers sell, at, they sell them at a loss. They don't make money on these consoles right here. You can tell you right here, that's called a loss leader, where basically it's a way to get people within the door into the ecosystem to then be able to make money off of the games themselves, most likely microtransactions at this point. But for like a real life example of like a loss leader would be like the Costco hot dog and chicken, right? The Costco hot dog and soda combo being a buck fifty. That thing, if I remember after inflation, she costs like around five dollars, but it stays at that price because people come in the door to go check that out. So Xbox knowing that they're gonna be playing third fiddle for quite some time now when it comes to their console platforms, why not reach out to those other platforms to, with this Latitude project to then potentially make more money off of their IPs rather than focus so much on the consoles. But for all you hardware Xbox junkies, don't worry, there's still something out there for you. The current leaks, remember, suggest that an Xbox handheld device will be shown at the showcase on June 9th. I feel like it's pretty late in the game to get involved with the handheld market, especially since almost everybody who wants a handheld console has a Nintendo Switch. But we've seen success of handhelds with some third-party projects, also with the Steam Deck as well. So maybe Xbox could find some way to integrate those together. We just won't really know until we actually see it. But am I happy that a game like Halo, especially Combat Evolved, 
coming over to PlayStation? Should I be upset about that? Uh, per personally, no, I'm actually genuinely excited to see that Halo could potentially come over to PlayStation as well. One would definitely help increase the player base of people playing Halo, right? Being tied to just the Xbox, being a serious third tier console when it comes to population, genuinely hurts the potential reach of the Xbox brand as a whole. It's Game Pass subscribers and just really holds it back. And so being able to be on multiple platforms, I think will be incredibly beneficial and have to be less pressure on trying to make like the best Xbox console to compete with these behemoths out there that own so much of the market already. And this would be incredibly beneficial for games or games as a service like Halo Infinite, for example, right? Where if you have just more people playing the game, meaning more people getting engaging with the content, more people potentially buying into microtransactions, being a much more sustainable project compared to being relied just on the Xbox and just on PC to hold up these live service games, which need a player base. That's the biggest thing about live service that you need a significant player base to make these type of games uh, financially viable. We're seeing that huge pushback right now within the gaming industry as a whole. We're seeing so many studios shut down, so many live service games release and completely flop like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which made by Rock City, a very reputable studio, still struggle to get a player base for this game. And things are just not looking that great for it, where we don't really expect to see much more from <laughs> this game sadly because of how rough the launch is and how disinterested people are like if you don't have that population for the live service it's not sustainable and that's why you think we were going to see xbox branching out beyond just their own ecosystem to then get their titles to have more live service games make more money on microtransactions just get more people playing xbox content i mean how do you feel about xbox making another combat evolved remaster me personally i'm excited about it i'll definitely jump in and play it but I definitely would looking forward to what can we do with the future of Halo, right? If you guys made it this far in the video, you're one of the real ones. Leave a green heart down below in the comments so I can see who the real ones are that made it towards the end here. And let's hope we get some good news for the Xbox showcase. So definitely we'll be making content about that. So thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.